cult classics like amongst fans like you know yeah she was trying other things so that she wasn't yeah. just labeled as a pop princess right exactly exactly but um yeah. it's funny to mention impossible princess that's actually my favorite kylie minogue album of all time and yeah. the only album she's she co-wrote every song on the album oh she's co-written she's written songs like here and there um she actually didn't do any, I think, till the third album. Like, I think she did like two or three songs on that album. But Impossible Princess was the first time she co-wrote every single song on the album. So it's like, you know, she's always said it's her most personal album. And it's an album that fans either love or hate, like, because mm -hmm. it was so different. And, you know, just, I don't know. It sounds like something like Garbage would have put out or Bjork. It's her, it's her yeah. least commercially successful album. Yeah. But I think part of the reason for that, to be honest, is that it came out at the same time as Princess Diana died. Yes. So I think it kind of had that Mariah Carey glitter effect. Yeah. And where then glitter where glitter did very poorly for Mariah because it have it came out the week of 9-11. Yeah. No, that makes sense. 